Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level to Mega Base series. And uh, we are at a point where our resources are starting to lack a small amount. Um, let's just go and fix that right away. That is pretty much what's going to hold us back uh, in the near, near future. So let's go grab some belts, get uh, things flowing in without trains for now, as I want to make our belt base for now until we transition into robots in the future. I think that will be quite cool. And uh, that is what we're going to go with for now. So first things first, let's just grab a few more belts to transport all of our resources. Mine we have enough of. Let's get some more of these, some more power poles. Let's just add the big ones to here, see how many we have. 36, might need a few more. And then let's go out to our, our patch of, of iron and start to drag it back to the main base. Um, to be honest, let's just switch out a few things. Get our new power armor on, meaning we'll get enough to... Uh, let's get these in to craft quite a few things. Kind of want to get one of these done. So let's just craft eight. These, let's see, for these we need processing units and electric engines. Luckily that's easy enough to get. You're missing steel. It should be more than enough solar though. And then we just kind of want to get some processing units, some electric engines to get things running. And then we should be good to go and craft our little area. Please come to me, please. That should be more than enough. Processing units is just down here below. And steel we'll have to grab as well. And a bit of steel before we use it all for different things. There we are. That's going to craft us a pair of legs. Maybe two. And then we're actually ready to hook up our new area. Um, we don't need that many batteries here. We'll just stay with one. This is just to get the new one in a minute. And then we need to tap into this little area here. We could steal the setup we have up here and we will pr pretty much use the same one. But what I'd rather do is uh, make a robot one that we can just uh, expand very, very easily. Something like this to make it work. Give it a little bit of, uh, of this and then we can pretty much just stamp it down as needed. And look how easy this is. That is exactly how I want this to work. Uh, as you've probably noticed by now, by watching my series, I try to make everything as modular as possible. Uh, I can see I misplaced something right there. And modular is uh, a quite, quite important thing for me when I build. It's kind of what I do. I, I wouldn't... I would probably go as far as call it my trademark, but uh, I don't think I'm the only one doing it, but I'm at least one of the ones that does it the most. Oh, why are you misaligned again? Let's just copy a little blueprint for this one so we have it at all times. Oh, I completely misaligned one of those. There we are. So let's just make sure we have everything we need. Please take you and just line it up right there. So that is looking good. I'll just skip the... Oh, let's not skip it. I want all of it. I'm a greedy, greedy person. And I want to cover the entire area with what we need. So hopefully that's all of them covered. And then we just need to hook up all the belts. And we have four. So that means we can do a lane balancer if we want to. 
Uh, let's just do it right here and start with two. I think that will be fine. So let's go steal a little setup from here. A nice lane balancer. Switch it around and put it down, let's say, right there. We are completely out of belt, it seems. Or our robots are just sleeping a bit. So let's just make it by hand. And we'll probably have to do red ones instead. That's fine. And do red. Pretty much needing to upgrade the other ones as well to red, just to make it look a bit prettier. So now we pretty much just hook it up where we need it. To you can just go. Oh, let's make it look a bit prettier though. Right there. It always looks nice when it lines up. And there we are. That's going to be four into the balances. Seems our robots are quite out of power. Oh, there they are. A bit more power for them. And then we should hopefully... Oh, we're missing a few, 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 uh, what's called, miners. But the, other than that, things should be hooked up nicely. There we are. Uh, I'll just get the power from up top, but uh, yeah, let's drag that first. Let's just drag it up next to this one. And to be honest, we should probably add all of our, our one, two of our legs, all of our solar, and uh, look how much faster we're moving now. That is perfect. Okay, one more and then we go across. Let's see if we get a place somewhere where it's good. And continue across this way. Hopefully I didn't put it in a annoying spot. But for now I think it will work. We can just add it into Maybe just up here and connect it up to something down here. So that should give us power to all our miners. Let's see if our power jumped a small amount. It did jump a small amount. And then we just need to hook up everything we need here. These can just wait to be crafted. So two belts in for now. Can it jump from here to there? Just barely jump from here to there. This is where we want the two iron belts to come in. Pretty much merging into uh, into this area here. Of course we want it to use... Can we do something ingenious here? Can we just stop this for a second? Making... One, two. And merging it into this one somehow we could do a fall in balance to be honest i think that might actually be the best way to do it taking this placing it down and please balance everything out very very nicely right here i think we might be able to do the upgrade one just to do this and get the other things the way we want it to there we are, that makes it a bit easier to do. And do a shift upgrade to stop an upgrade, and that is actually fine like that. So now we can throw it into these. Um, I need to make some input priority. I can't really do that right now, but uh, yeah, it, sh it should be fine. Should be fine. Remember to hook him up as always going into these two and then we can start to make belts go all the way down to our our little outpost let's just jump you to there for now let's get the trees destroyed you can always do this take 
trees and rocks only. A very nice uh, thing to do in a, a planner. And then we can kind of just remove all the little trees that are in our way and annoying. And then everyone will be a lot happier. And there we are. And let's just continue out this way until we get to a good spot where we can hook him up. While I run, let's also make um, what's it called another radar just to put down at our outpost. I wanted to go on this side of it. Kind of want to go all the way down and check where it lines up so we don't have uh, some strange mismatch. Let's see here. Let's just get these two running. Get in a bit of resources in. And keep dragging a bit. Then we are almost there. Hopefully we do have enough belts. We might just be short of what we need to hook it up. So we'll just have to go and grab some from the mall. So let's see here. We could actually keep all of this going for the steel instead of going over here. But it does look like steel needs a bit of an upgrade as well. Things are looking a bit dire in terms of our raw input. That is kind of stopping our entire system from working. And luckily we have produced probably just enough to, uh, to hook up the things we need. Uh, let's just get a few more yellow belts. Not really necessary since we're starting to transition over to uh, the fast ones. But uh, let's just keep them for now anyway. And it is typical that it's just in the area that's further away <laughs> that we're missing uh, a few belts. But uh, yeah, that's what happens. So... Hooking up the rest, you'll go into this one, you'll go into that one, and voila. We have iron flowing in. Hook you up, just moving the rest of the things that are in the way. There we are, last two. And let's just see if this can supply us with more than we need. It should be able to, so uh, for now we'll just let it run. Start to fill up these belt belts. Will also enable us to uh, upgrade these to uh, tier two outputs and uh, add a lot more to our network. These are at least slowly uh, emptying out. So we should probably start to either double this one over or upgrade it to iron ones. Iron ones is going to take a bit longer than just uh, adding two more. So we might do that in a second. I am missing... What's it called? Um, our furnaces. But we can just hook it up just down here to uh, get what we need or we can just make the upgraded ones since we actually do have more than enough for that so let's just set that up instead right here you can just come with me please please make iron furnaces just needs these two and that means one of them is right here and the other one needs to go down a small amount Let's do it the easy way. 
just like that. There we are. And then we can jump you across, hooking it up correctly and adding some power. Good. Then we can do an iron chest. Limit it to one stack or two stacks if we want. Might be good. Since that will make us allow us to make two columns at a time. Or upgrade two columns since we have 48 in each one. Oh, let's just pick this up. It's been flying after us for days now. There we are. So now iron... Look at that, iron is flowing in a lot better than a word before. So uh, hopefully that will uh, get us going. At least it's giving us out two full belts. And that is all I could ask for at the moment. So let's see here. Let's fix some more input now that we're here anyway. Our steel is starting to lag as well. It is working as fast as it can, but most definitely not fast enough. So let's take this part and just copy it down a few times. Let's do it here to make sure they line up correctly. To something like that. And then we just need a lot more... Uh, things to get this going when we upgrade all of these we should get enough for uh, what's it called all steel columns so let's just go down and get a few now we just need it all to flow through the base and upgrade everything as needed so this is 24 And that could give us just the start of what we need. We also need to upgrade everything to red belts. Before. Um, or input one. Just to get things. Upgraded correctly. So let's do this. Please upgrade all of you. All of this. In preparation for the future. Kind of want all of this upgraded as well. Same over here. And we want all of these upgraded. So they can just do that whenever we go by. Oh, did not mean to take that one away. Let's take the red ones. Oh, not like that, please. There we are. Going in quite nicely. And look at our robot's work. That is brilliant. So that should give us, if both of these fill up, that should give us four yellow out. And no, we can't really get four yellow out yet. But we are quite, quite close to doing that. We just pretty much need to upgrade all of this. Let's help it out a bit. And we'll have to upgrade these as well, I think, for it to support everything we need. We'll at least know in just a second. Um, this should support these two. Might have to get an entire belt in, but... Uh, Let's just keep this running for now and see how it goes. That did give us, uh, where are it at? 26 of these. That can be used to just upgrade our smeltery over here. Of course, we are missing quite a bit of long-handed inserters that we should also pick up from our little mall. Yeah, let's help a bit so to actually upgrade the correct ones. We can leave a few that's not really being upgraded correctly, but uh, yeah, we'll have to have to make sure both of them get upgraded.
There we are. All the undergrounds are good. Could get another one of these. Might have to take one of these out to uh, to get enough power supplied for everything we need. So that's way, way more resources coming in, which is the main point of why I'm doing this. It also means we can pretty much start our research again. We do have purple nowhere to be found since nothing is actually making it down here. Everything has been consumed way, way further up the line. At least for a little bit yet. Please grab you. Let's go and grab these. Come on, the robots. Please charge. And let's grab a few more of these. So that one wants more of. And more inserters. I think 50 might be enough. And then let's grab a few belts as well. So go, go, go. Please fix all of this as soon as you can. Should probably be easy for us to do it ourselves. Let's do the same over here. Then we'll need to upgrade all of this to red belt as well. Because the things aren't throwing through as smoothly as we want. So pretty much doing this should alleviate that situation. Of course, I'm missing belts as always. That is kind of the story of my life. And let's go over here and set up the rest we need. Oh, the rest are kind of stuck over here. That's always when robots not doing what I want them to do. There we are. So please fix all of this mode for me, please. That would be much obliged. And... I can do most of these myself, luckily. Oh, that fits very, very nicely. Come on, please fill up the rest. So the good thing about robots is that I don't need to think about where I place things. The bad thing is it does take a little while for them to do it. And I most definitely didn't bring enough uh, inserters or other things. As you can see, we are missing a lot of inserters. But we are slowly filling up this smeltery column so we can get all the steel we need in the world. And that is actually the most important thing. So let's see here. We need to grab quite a few more <laughs> red belts, it seems. Did not really see how much we needed, but uh, I can feel that it is way more than I thought. The same with those. Let's just grab a few of those. I think we do have enough long handed, but uh, let's just make sure we don't make the same mistake one more time. And let's grab some of these. There we are. That is looking very good. We'll have to expand this soon as well, it seems. Since we are actually consuming quite a bit of resources as it stands right now. So number one priority, fixing this part.
Why does it look like it's not moving as fast as it can? Oh, it's because it's taken from other sides as well. Well, that does make sense. But please, our priority to the right. And then we might want to take one more this way. In case this... Uh, can't supply all we need. Because we should be able to take... Oh, sorry about that. Don't Please don't mix things. That always goes badly when we do it. There we go. I think I grabbed the things that got in there uh, incorrect. And there we are. So that's one full being split into... Uh, Two halves, so we actually need one more, that is correct. So let's just take one more of these all the way over. So what if we do, please stop you, do you instead. Something like that, then we have the last two going as well. This should more than solve our issue. And that way we should be producing <coughs> Sorry about that. All the iron we need in the world. There we are. That should give us two full red belts out. That should give us four yellow belts. As soon as this run falls full speed. Might want to give um, our copper a bit of uh, upgrade as well. And then we can use these to make the rest over here. And then I think we have solved most of our issues in terms of uh, input. Except it does look like copper. Not copper. Coal is the next thing we'll have to look at. And coal is quite a bit far, farther away. So we'll kind of have to uh, look at that very soon. Because as you can see... Things are starting to get a bit dire in the, in the coal department. And that is because it's being used for, um, for a lot of things. So I did forget a few power poles. Let's just make some by hand. Then we should have everything we need. And have all of this running in, uh, in double time. So that was all of our steel columns set up. Hopefully level supplies with all the steel we need to uh, supply the base. Iron is looking very nice. We're just not getting enough in. It's a Siri input from fourth now that can't even supply two red belts. I think as the last thing this episode we should just go and check on the supply down there because that doesn't seem right. And the uh, Wow, that is right. That's not a lot of production we're getting from over here. So we might have to go and tap into another ore patch. Or just wait until it fills up. Which shouldn't be too long. Let's just grab a last few and fill it up. So... While I set up the rest of our outpost, you can give me a like, subscribe if you want. <laughs> that is a very sneaky promotion of my own channel. But that's just the way it goes once in a while. That one's empty. I think most of these are starting to be done as well. And it, how is that always producing? We most definitely need some more productivity. That is insane that it's not producing any more than this. Oh, we forgot to hook this one up. Not that it's going to do that much, but every little counts at the, mo at the moment. So that is an entire iron patch. Um starting to be mined it should last us a long long time but uh, in terms of throughput it's not the best but uh, hopefully it's better than the rest <laughs>
Well, that's a horrible pun. Oh, 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 how bad was that? So yeah, I will end the episode here. As you can see, things are still not flowing all the way through. Steel is still lacking quite a bit for a setup, but uh, hopefully this uh, new input uh, will solve that as soon as this backs up over here, which shouldn't take that long anymore. So um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, next episode will probably be another resource gathering one since that is uh, very important to get done so we might go and tap into uh wow we have no iron nearby something else or maybe even tap trains we will uh, have to look at that but at least let's grab that coal patch first so thank you so much for watching guys i've been d and i'll see you next episode bye